Welcome, welcome everybody to the All Circles Media Podcast. I am your hostess with the mostest, Ty Williams. And I only say that because I am black and filled with cream like a hostess cake. Can we please introduce everyone here at the table, starting with Jan the Apex Almost. Wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Did you? We're doing intros right now. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I get that we're doing intros right now, Ty. However, comma, <laughs> your intro. We, we can't just pass over the filled with cream. <laughs> you know what? No, yeah. I'm just. I just wanted somebody else to say it yeah, so yeah. that everybody acknowledges that that's what was. That's what was said. said yeah. Yes. And, I'm we not don't need to. We don't need to dig into it. All right, cool. You know, we'll just move on. Um, but yeah, I'm Jan. Looks like Jan. J A N. Almsy on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Now that Elon bought it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got my man right here. I'm and your mom's uh, couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm Kevin Morrison. Nice to happy to be here. Nice to meet you, fellas. Awesome, awesome. Also, that intro was I don't know if it's problematic or sexual, but I like it. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, I've been working on it. <laughs> uh, I'm Tyler Watkins. Uh, Instagram, I'm Tyler Watkins. Facebook, Tyler Watkins. I don't have a Twitter. I'm never going to make one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Not What's your only fan? Uh, I'm Tyler Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is how I know he's a sellout because he does only fans. I do just for fans. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's totally different. It's a thing. It's I promise you it's better. Right. It's like Cameo. It's like <laughs> yeah. I do those too. But you know. I just do Omegle. <laughs> Time to get back on LinkedIn. Like <laughs> <laughs> there we got a boy right here. And then I'm um, Sam Almasy. I'm that dude's brother over there. <laughs> and it's uh, night shift underscore underscore on uh, Instagram. Awesome. Bro. Hell yeah. Well, today I would like to ask uh, my friend over here, Kevin, a few questions. I actually met him. She was 18. <laughs> <laughs> it was consensual. Her parents watched, I promise. <laughs> That's all. <awesome>. But I didn't. <laughs> I actually, uh, it's crazy. We met at uh, McAlpine's Meadery. And for those of you oh listening God. who don't know what that place is, <laughs> but if you don't know what mead is, uh, mead is honey wine. I say that positively. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, wine made from honey. And it's like an entire, it was a place where they make the shit. And it was awesome. It was a very nice little venue. It was me and how many other comedians were there? Just like maybe like four or five of us. I well, there was. was supposed to be 70 and I think 13 showed up and then nine of us did spots. So yeah, it, yeah. Was <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool though. I it mean, was, like, yeah, it was different. It was cool. Oh yeah. It was, it was my first time. Like I just like doing something like that small, but it worked out phenomenally because everybody was really engaged. I think so. Like, I think yeah. I enjoyed your set like a lot. Like you know, that, my first time seeing you, that shit was actually pretty dope. You did like a whole, and people said it too in the crowd. They're like, he just did a whole comedy special. And fucking entertained all of us like thoroughly, and I'm just like, there yeah. was no, 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 there was not to cut you off. There was another comic who got pissed because I had to leave because I drove an hour and a half to do that fucking <laughs> spot, and he was mad because I was leaving mid set of his, <laughs> and he's just like, hey, my dude, are you gonna just leave after you just did a fucking comedy? Central special. I'm like, listen, asshole. There's 13 people in the crowd. <laughs> I have work. To- <laughs> I don't know you. I have work tomorrow. I have shit to do, dude. I gotta go. Like, I'm fucking. What are you talking about? Like, sorry. Like, I don't know. I'll catch you on the next one. It was. Uh, he yeah, was a bit was- salty. He he really wanted. To, I think he just wanted to impress you, bro. Like, he wanted to show out. It was like, he wanted to get on stage. He was like, no, I can do it better. And he was he was dipping. He's like, no, no, no. You got to sit down. You got to watch this. Yeah, he literally. Yeah, it was weird. Dude. Are people at comics normally like that? No, like, not good not, ones. No, no. no. <laughs> right. Not, that's what I was thinking. Ones. I'm no. like, what? Like, what? It's, why do you? Why are you? Why do you even have the energy to waste? On that, well, I feel like, like it was it was a situation to where like of strange. the ones that did get fr- like you just make the most out of situations like that, especially right. when you're doing comedy, bro. Because it's like if you're doing something, especially where you're not getting paid or when you're not getting paid very much, mm-hmm. I do it because I love the shit. Yeah. So it's one of those situations to where if someone's heckling me or if another comic is like you know just handling themselves that way, I'm just like, all right, dude. So obviously you either don't like this as much as I do, so I'm just not going to interact with you as a person because I like being friends with all these people. Right, right. The yeah. comics make some of the best fucking friends ever. I, I'm pro- I promise sure. you that. I mean, yeah. but really just like anything that you're doing that's like something that you do out of your own want to oh do yeah. that thing, whether it's comedy or yeah, it's under your sports, under your own volition, yeah. entrepreneurship, like anything. Like you run into somebody that you blatantly is like, nah, you're not here because you want to be here. Right, right. right. Yeah. It yeah. was it was strange. By the way, you crushed that night. You Thank fucking you. you did great. Thank and that's what that's what turned me on to you. I was like, oh, this dude's fucking murdering right now. Yeah, you crushed and it. I, and it turned I think I had to. I think I. 
Did I follow you? Yeah, yeah, we fo- yeah, we followed each other right after that. It was it was a really really yeah, awesome were, positive yeah. experience. I loved everybody else who. Uh, there was another comedian there. It was a, very, a trans comedian who was very very funny. Like she was phenomenal. I think it was like a, Alexa. Oh yeah, Amazon. Alexa. Yep, yep. Yeah, she phenomenal. I'll tell you what, she dude. Was she's yeah, she's great. Really, she's great. a killer. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Would you also agree that uh, for me personally, I, just just my opinion, but I, would you agree with the fact that I. I think that comedy is one of the most authentic forms of entertainment purely because most of it should or most of it does come from personal experience. Like, I feel like some of the best comics, whenever they write their jokes or their uh, their own stories and stuff like that, a lot of it's just like some of the, my favorite ones are the stories that are told about their family, their experience, stuff that they've actually been through, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. I feel like laughs that come from there are a lot more genuine, you know what I'm saying, than like a movie that's like purely fabricated or some shit like that. As fun as it can be. Yeah. I just feel like going to laugh like just with a bunch of people in a fucking room with just mm-hmm. one dude telling you about some really embarrassing shit. Yeah. It's like that's fucking that's wholesome. I feel like I feel like that's super wholesome. I me. love I love that you asked me a question then also answered it on my that's behalf. I that was, was, was amazing. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well damn, he's got it covered. He's good. He's no And you're you're like checking off the details as he goes through it. And he's like, oh yeah. yeah. I was like, he how did, did he know that? my speaking points in order? This is fucking <laughs> wild. This is insane. I uh, was like, we're linked, bro. We're in here. No, uh, yeah, you're you're 100 percent right. I do I do agree with you wholeheartedly. It is it's <coughs> comedy is the strangest fucking art form. First and foremost, it's the strangest because it's the only it's the only art form that's happening at a fucking laundry mat for no money for yep. fun, like out of our own volition. Yep. Uh, which I don't even know if I'm using that word correctly. That's thanks to Miller High Life on that one. But <laughs> um, it it is it's it's coming from this point to where I have to. Get a whole group of people in on an idea, something that I either went through or fabricated or over exaggerated. But it's something that I at least know somewhat of. Mm-hmm. I created. Now I have to get all you guys or whoever I'm performing to on board with it. Mm-hmm. And it's it's different. It's not a song. I, I don't get to come out here and just be like, 21, can you do something for me? And people are like, I, d- I hope that man does something for him. Like, as <laughs> it, like it's not, you know what I mean? It's a... <laughs> It's a different thing. It's a it's completely different fucking art form, and it is. It's you have to sit there in in our only, our only gauge of how well we're doing with it is based on the people we're presenting it to at that time. Yes. So yeah, you know, it, it, you know, if I if I call you and I bounce a joke off you, you're like, oh, that's hilarious. I go and do it in front of 60, 80, 100 people. They're like, eh. Right. You know, you liked it. It hit home for you. These people are like, I don't know that experience. It doesn't mean anything to me or I can't find the humor in that situation. So it, yeah, it's very, it's very tough. It's, but it's, it's fucking rewarding. It's oh, so rewarding. Sure. It's Fuck addicting yeah. for real. If you, yeah. For me, I feel like uh, my favorite part of it is when I do get that positive affirmation from the whole crowd of laughter. Are you going through like, puberty right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm actually midlife crisis and puberty at the same time. Like, it's, it's weird. I'm we just found out Tavion's kink. He likes to be called a good boy in bed. He's uh, like, no, positive no. affirmations, please. That's exactly. the only way I come. I'm just on the stage like, please give me compliments. <laughs> That's my love language. <laughs> That's how you know we're millennials. We're like, but can we be... Get can I get an attaboy once right. or twice? <laughs> <laughs> I just say I you're proud of me. me. Not so much you. If they do that to you, if they do that to you, that's racist. If that's they do it to me, it's positive. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, so you have uh, to have an old white man just be like, "That's my dog," and you're like, "I don't even know if I like that, but all right, I guess." Right. Yeah. You know what? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so uh, tell us uh, just a bit about why you personally got into comedy. What was it that inspired you to do this line of work? Because uh, I'm mentally ill, for sure. <laughs> Likewise. That's, vibes. Yeah, Likewise. have to be. Uh, also, shouts out to Miller High Life. That helps. Yep. Um, no, I just, I've always wanted to do it. I, I grew up loving comedy, and I was always super into it. And then the pandemic happened. And uh, the scamdemic, brother, you know what I'm saying? It was fake. No, I'm just right. kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I just, I look that way so people assume it. So if I just say it, they're like, oh, well, at least he knows. You got the uh, Wrangler like, vest and everything. Yeah, yeah right. Wearing. It's like I was like dropping acid on my way to go fishing. And I was like, y'all boys doing a podcast? Let me get in. Tell you my opinions and views. No. Um, I'm clipping that. <laughs> Please and thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Get some right wing fucking followers. Let's go. They spend money. I don't <laughs> know. Yeah. And they're no. the most easily trickable. It's gonna be awesome. Exa- exactly. <laughs> It'll work perfectly. Um, no, I just I I wanted to get into it, and then the, like I said, the pandemic happened. And I was like, dude, it's fucking now or never. This should all kill us, or you know, life goes on, whatever. But at least I can say I tried. But I did it, and it went well the first time. And uh, 
I just, I suck with it, man, because I do. I love this shit. I love it. I want to do it for a living. I want this to be my fucking main source of income. And yep. it's not even about that. It's like you said, you do this shit for free because you genuinely love it. Yep. You know, you have to go out there and play for fucking six people at whoever the Fucksville Comedy Shack. And, yep. you know, it doesn't matter. Booker pays you. 15 fucking dollars in a chicken sandwich. He's like, you made three people laugh. Come back next week. Maybe I'll let you do the thing. Like, yep. All right, cool, Basically. whatever. He's like, I'm not doing it for any of that. I'm doing it just for these laughs. I'm doing it for that moment. Like, to me, that's cooler than anything else. It really is. Oh, I totally agree. It's okay. I've always compared it to... Uh, We're like, sick. We're sick. We have a fucking disease. It's oh, most sick. Definitely. It's our medicine. We're <laughs> sick. That's it. Most definitely. We realize yeah. how big of a joke the world actually is, and then we just choose to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's, I've always compared it to other things like uh, professional wrestling. Like... When you people, in order to do professional wrestling, you have to love that shit. You really have to love it, oh, especially yeah. if you're gonna do like same thing, perform in front of like six people at a fucking gym <laughs> in like a makeshift fucking like stage that you made in your backyard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you're probably gonna tear a quad most likely, but it's just like you know what, you're gonna do it regardless because it's entertainment and you want to entertain the people. You want to make people happy. I yeah. think that's at the heart of it. That's why we do this shit because we sure. like making people happy. We like making people smile. And, you know I mean? and let's face it, both of those crowds are very similar. Very, like very it's similar. Cheryl with three teeth, like that boy was funny. Right. Or it's Cheryl it. with three teeth, and he's like, "You see that body slam? That's a good suplex. I right. liked it." Yeah, hit him with a chair. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But, uh, <laughs> you think that really hurts when they do that? You think it hurts? That's they just, they just good. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. <laughs> But uh, so tell me, so what is your uh, most of us uh, who are at this stage of our careers with the, the comedy? We also happen to have uh, day jobs. Mm -hmm. I myself, I work at a record store. Uh, what do you do as uh, your main source of income as of right now until we get the ball rolling with like the big, big comedy aspect stuff? Uh, well, I'm a union laborer, mm -hmm. but my like my trade, my forte is pipe laying. Uh -huh. So it's your now elaborate on that, would you please? <laughs> <laughs> It's it. Oh, wait, it's we're not recording it. videos. So I that makes, that makes sense. So, so we actually do have. No, we got the video. Oh, do we? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that little red thing? Yeah. Cool. No, I show up. Uh, I show up at places that have uh, unhappily married women, and I'm like, I'm here to fix your problems, and then I do, and I leave, and I get fucking paid. Uh -huh. And uh, and like I said, unions so great benefits. Anyway, no. Um, no, it's if your water main needs installed or repaired, that's me. Your sanitary sewer, your storm sewer, whatever. If I'm I'm the dude digging up the road. He, ongoing joke about construction is like, oh, every time I fucking see that, they're not doing nothing. They're just standing looking at a hole. Right. They're looking at me. I'm <laughs> the guy down there doing the thing. It's like I'm in the hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm 20 feet deep. Like, give me the fucking stone and bring the pipe down. Let's go. I gotta put the shit together. That's it. That's all. That's I'm right. so down for all of that. That is what. It, <laughs> no, it's sorry, dude. It's fucking terrible. It's super. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, but being that deep just isn't that fun. I'm assuming. I mean, it is. Yeah, sure, sure. Because you do like, and we're all guys here. Like, there's no women here. Like, you you have two females here right now. Bring yep. them in here. And be like, does that sound appealing? They're going, oh, that sounds fucking stupid. Uh, that's fair. That's but fair. all got, yeah, dude, deep in the fucking ground, dude, let's fucking go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> bro. That's why we're digging like, holes at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. It's every fucking six year old's dream with we're a plastic dogs. Tonka yeah. truck. Like, it's like, I've never even wanted a damn Tonka truck after the age of six for some reason. It's just like I lost interest immediately. Yeah, me, and now I play with them every day, but I'm real scared. I'm like, oh, that's like sweet. He's like, oh my God, that's a five ton diesel. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Dude, you know how many fucking days? My con like that is oh Jesus Christ I'm sorry I'm gonna take up so much time with this but oh, no, this, is the, this is the fucking truth <laughs> my day starts with the worst conversations ever how, how so because it's just me and other construction guys and it's me I don't have a passion for it anymore I'm like <laughs> fuck this I hate this I want to go home now like right, I right. want to leave I've been here for 30 seconds I cannot wait to leave right. these guys woke up their dicks were hard not because they woke up with morning wood it's because <laughs> they're like I get to go run the fucking thing today like <laughs> That's it. That's it. And Damn. for them, they're like, yeah, you know. Wow. So they're living the dream. You coming in? He's like, no. Wow, this is a wild Charlie I'm Parker. Just with it. He's, <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like right fuck away. these <laughs> white devils. I mean, I, yeah, I got one. I'm serious, I think. Yeah, I got one. Now, please feet experience feet a break while yeah, we hand out feet shells feet because, because yeah. people inside of our audience smoke marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> construction <laughs> shit. My dad. My dad. Oh, yeah, My we're, dad. Talk, we're talking about construction shit. Um, we were asking him about his day My job. Dad. About what that day job be. Okay, but what's your day job? Construction worker. I'm a pipe layer. 
<laughs> see, you see, I can't say it. Like it's. That's it. That's it. You scared him off. <laughs> it happens. And I feel like pipe fitter is not much better. Like, no matter cleaner. Which, cleaner. Huh? Uh, well, a little bit. No, because that's like. Then I'm you're like a urologist. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. that? Then you're a urologist, basically. Kind of, if you're a pipe cleaner. I see where you're going. No, but like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, conversation. The conversation is the worst. <laughs> yeah. If I hang out with you guys yeah. at 7 a.m. and we're just hanging out, we're doing this, we're having a good time. It's a good conversation. It's fun. Yeah. It's intriguing. It's interesting. It's intellectual, kind of. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. It's fun. <laughs> right. It's with these guys, it's uh, mowing the lawn. You're I had telling to me chase you don't down half a 40 of Miller High Life at 7 a.m.? On the construction site, when you try to have these conversations, let's be honest. There's <laughs> been a couple days because <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know they did. You already know they did, so it's just like <laughs> no, they didn't. That's the problem. Really? I had to do it to deal with them. They didn't do it. They they went in sober. They were in on coffee, hope, and ambition. And I was like, I need a fucking drink so, now. So what like, what's rough. the age range of guys that you're working with here? Like, what are they talking about? What what do, what do these guys care about? In these conversations? Dude, like I said, it's the worst shit ever. Do you want to lose everybody who listens to this podcast? Because that's what it is. It's it's the worst shit. It's mowing the lawn. Uh, diesel equipment that was ran in the fucking 60s and 70s. It's, <laughs> hey, remember when we used to do this and also smoke crack? Like, that's <laughs> that's for real. That was it. Yeah, I remember oh, Jimmy oh, Schaefer was on our crew that day. Oh, my God. We must have went through a whole eight ball. You remember that? Yeah, Tommy Tutos. He was there. Yeah, we call him Tommy Tutos because when the carry-all dropped the fucking machine off, the deck for the truck. See, I'm already losing you guys. They fucking, <laughs> like, that's what this shit is. Well, like, yeah, the deck for the truck slammed down. It cut off his fucking boots. They said they were shield toes. They weren't shield toes. They fucking went right through them and chopped off his toes. He's Tommy Two Toes now. And that's it. That's my whole fucking day. And it's just the worst <laughs> stories Damn. ever. Jeez. I'm like, does this have a point at all? <laughs> at Damn. all? Because it didn't. It's like daily existential crisis. You're like, what the fuck am I here? Yeah, it's literally me doing that and everybody else like, it's good times. <laughs> like, <laughs> I yeah, guess. Living great. Living I the dream. Bro, that's guess. how I felt when I worked at Juvie. Yeah. It's the For real, and it's deer hunting now because it's deer hunting season. So that's all. That's the, the main topic. The problem. Now. The problem is, is I blend in. I look like somebody who would be about all that shit, and I'm not. I will say that your beard is long enough for you to start pretending IPAs taste good, so that is fair. Let's be honest. A couple of them do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Run your fucking rises, man. All right. Open it up. I can't, it's not thick enough yet. I can't, I can't I'm yeah. not there. My I was going to say that he could. He was like borderline close to the fact that his last name could be Yoder or Miller. <laughs> that, I mean, but like, maybe. I'm one of the Smith boys. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> No, dude, it, but it is. It's it's a lot of that shit, and it's like, don't get me wrong. Like, I've met some very cool people because that's just fucking raw averages, laws of averages. You're going to. Yeah. But I've also met some complete fucking dirtbags. Like, most dirtbags. And, like, dude, you have to have, like, eight DUIs to work construction. I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, you have to. It's one of the it's requirements. Pre- it's pre- yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, when you, when you come here and you leave, do you have to blow into the ignition to get it to start, or you just turn a key? I'm like, I turn a key. They're like. I don't know if you gonna make it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like this is fucking ridiculous. But you're the one drinking in the morning. <laughs> right. So, uh, so uh, th- it's because I'm a professional. Okay. <laughs> do you see yourself continuing to do this Actually, up until comedy? Just uh, oh, dude, as soon up? I already, I already talked it over with the wife. Excuse me. I was like, as soon as I make the same dollar amount, done. I'm done. As soon as I clear that same amount that I would make from my fucking nine to five, seven to five, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not. I'm, I don't strategy. give a shit. I'll, That's I will, American strategy. I will cut back on everything, dude. Everything. If I'm cold, dude, fuck it. Throw on the footy pajamas and a fucking sweater over yep. top. I don't care. Like, if I don't have to run the heat of it, say fuck 20 yeah. bucks it's way better than get like me out of this shit oh, and, yeah. and in this full time, yeah, I'm doing it. Hell yeah. yeah. I, was having a, I was having a conversation with my girl the other day and like she, because I go out of town to do Comic-Con a lot of the time. I, I do hosting events at Comic-Con. Like I host a cosplay contest and a Beyblade tournament and all that extra stuff. Which is amazing because I knew from the first day I met you, I was like, this dude looks like an anime protagonist. Oh yeah, for sure. Wait, they have that is why Beyblade tournaments? Oh yeah, I host them. Oh yeah. About $150. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. $150. You win, you win the whole pot if you can do it. Hell yeah. But um, I was talking to her, and she she has this thing like where she's little she gets a little separation anxiety sometimes. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Sure. So it's just like, uh, am I allowed to go out of town 
as often as I want if comedy <laughs> ever pans out is basically the conversation that I, you know what I'm saying, basically had. And it wasn't to the point where it's just like, hey, if I have an opportunity that's going to take me out of the city to go do something that's going to make my career maybe shoot off, maybe not, but it's still an opportunity for the Just experience. something to better yourself. Yeah. yeah. Am I st- w- w- is that going to cause a problem? And in her eyes, she prefers the monetization part. Like, if I'm monetarily being paid, if I'm going to be paid for what I'm doing, then yes. But if it's just something I would rather do for the experience, that's where she finds the issue. So Which is very funny because that's a woman thing. Is it really? But the thing is, like, all right. The thing is, I think Steve Harvey had this quote. Mm-hmm. And it was basically that men work on a monetary clock. Mm-hmm. So how much their time is being valued in what it reciprocates into dollars. Yeah. Women have time frames just based on time. Like, basically, like, I'm X age, I should have this by this time. Mm -hmm. I'm this, I should have this by, you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm 25, I should be married by now. I'm 30, I should have a kid or two by now. I'm 35, I should have blah, blah, blah by now. You know what I mean? That's how women work. But when women are with somebody who does the shit that we do, Mm -hmm. then it becomes a thing of like, well, what what, what are you getting out of that? And then it's like, well, well, nothing. I get to do the thing and then people see and maybe I get like three followers and it, yeah. And I feel like maybe I get booked for something else that will pay me. Right, something like that. And they're like, why would you do that? And you're like, well, because it's a part of it. It's it's just how this this is the how this goes. Yeah, Yeah. this is the part of it that I. This is a networking opportunity. I have to go. Oh, Oh, okay, cool. What does it pay? Is it nothing? (laughs) They're like, oh, well, why would you do it? How many musicians do you think do free shows? Like, it's the start. You start with a lot. Yeah. Like yeah. for real, you're, you're not going to be a brand new yeah. comedian and be like, "Give me one thousand dollars, I'm going to perform." Oh right, right, right. yeah. Like, it's not as if Kevin Hart just appeared like two weeks from like when he started to like Netflix. Oh, yeah. so, like, like that's not how the fuck that shit works. And I mean, granted, I'm not saying like this is every woman. I'm not saying this is my woman, right. but like it was a thing of that where it's like, oh, well, you're going to do that. And I'm like, well, yeah, I got to work on this joke. I got to hit this open mic. Like, yeah. Well, what does that do? It's like. I d- it helps me for the fucking time. Yeah, yeah, it's the stage time. It's the thing. It's it's part of it. Experience. But there's a lot of moving parts to it. Yeah. Like okay, so back to the whole job thing. My job seven to five. I don't leave and go anywhere after and practice my job. I just have that time, and that time pays me my shit. Yeah. This that's not how that works, mm-hmm. and it's just it's weird because for them they see it as a job, but they're like, well, why aren't you getting anything? Oh yeah. It's like no, you do, but it's. Like, it just takes more time. Non-tangible shit. It's, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? It's the connection you made with a booker. Yes. It's the one person you made laugh who wants, now he he has a fucking inn in an Elks Lodge and he wants right. to hire you. Guess what? That's a private fucking gig. You just got 150 bucks to show up then. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, exactly. It's shit that goes along with it, but not necessarily. What's an Elk Lodge? Uh, where old white people hang out <laughs> <laughs> and, just, like, and drink discounted it. booze. That's it. Like if so I it's perform like a VFW. there, so basically, yeah, exactly. It's a VFW. Yeah. So basically, if I perform there at the end of the night, someone would most likely call me boy. That's basically what would happen. <laughs> like crazy. Depending on what part of town you're on. Come on. Boy, boy, <laughs> boy. boy. But um, right, boy. Boy. it definitely does have a lot of moving parts. That That is correct. But I feel like it's for me, the legwork is what's important because it's just like eventually I'm going to get to the point where you're going to have to pay me like fucking ten thousand dollars for my time in order to do anything. And like, but I'm not there yet. But the drive you that I have enough squats, that's, that's a lot like. of legwork. <laughs> it is. But the drive that I have to get there means that I have to do things like that, which is basically how I had to explain it. It was just like, yo, I sure. got to Like, I don't consider it biting the bullet because it's just like, yo, even if I'm not making anything monetarily, the experience that I'm gaining, mm-hmm. I'm going to turn that into power way later on because there's no replacement for True. that type of shit. Yeah. First time I ever did comedy. The only reason I did it is because I went to a Steve Hofstetter show that they were having here in Canton at the brew house. Oh, yeah. Uh, Steve uh, Hofstetter's fucking uh, funny. hilarious. hilarious. Right? Yeah. Followed him forever. I good. went, it's crazy, because I went there, I told him, like, I had bought a ticket, I was one of the first people there, I said, hey, how do I get, how do I do what you do? How do I get into comedy? And he goes, like, are you being serious about it? And I was like, yeah, I'm dead ass, I got jokes ready. He goes, like, listen, I will let you get a set tonight, I will let you get a spot tonight, because one of my dudes canceled, and if you work the door, I'll refund the ticket. So I worked the door until everybody got in, didn't have to pay for the show, and he let me get on stage that night, like, just after the one dude who had, uh, who had came in. Are you serious? Yep, I have the pictures and all, all the evidence. That was your it. first gig? That was my first gig, what? performing for That's Steve Hofstad. Yeah, it's cool. on my, I posted it on my Facebook that night. I'm like, yo, it's me and Steve right next to each other. I was like, yo, what the this fuck? was the most, uh, dude, because he told me right then and there, if you keep setting a timeline for yourself, you're never going to do it. If you don't do it right now, you're just not going to do it. True. 
one hundred percent, Steve. That's what he said. I don't know this dude. Oh, he's but a great guy. Check 100%. out his stuff. Check out his stuff. He's like he yeah. destroys hecklers. I would never have that ability. <laughs> I swear to God, I will fold and run off stage. Why? But because it's just like yeah, I'm still the stage fright never goes away from me. That's why I wear sunglasses on stage. I, so I already can't see shit because when you're on, when you're a comedian, you're on stage. We can only see like the front two rows. Everything else behind that is basically kind of dark, but based Kinda, on lighting. Yeah. So depending I, where you're at, yeah, 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 depending on where you're at. So I just put sunglasses on and just think that I'm doing it to an empty room, and it works out because all I hear is laughter. You feel me? So if I just convince myself that no one's there, it works out for me, and that's just how I kind of started to operate until I got <laughs> more confidence, right? But then remember, I called you that one time where that shit happened, where like I I assumed yeah. that I had bombed, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it's just like my jokes didn't hit the audience that uh, was being performed. I will say like it's I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Chitlin Circuit or anything like that. But it's one of those situations the to where, chi- like, excuse me, the, the ch- Chitlin Circuit. Yeah, the Chitlin Circuit. It's one of those things to where, like, back in the day, like, it was. By the way, I love that you fucking just said that to four white men. <laughs> and you were just like, I don't know if you guys ever heard about this, the Chitlin Circuit. <laughs> like, we would all just chime in and be like, well, yeah, we're extremely familiar. <laughs> we've we've all worked it. Of course, of course. It was uh, back during, like, the Rudy Ray Moore days, like, you know what I'm saying? We're basically comedy. For Once black- again, four white men. We don't know who that is. Oh, uh, he's. Okay, so Rudy Ray Moore is a very famous black comedian. But he was of the same genre of Richard Pryor, if you guys know who that is. You know what I'm saying? You the, I do know who Richard Pryor uh, yeah. is. So <laughs> think Eddie Murphy Raw, think <laughs> Richard Pryor, any of his stand up. Okay. Sure. Like that kind of joke material, essentially. Like, like Eddie Murphy in all leather. Uh, yeah, yeah, like them, yeah, them ones. Like, like from Raw and from Delirious, like all the shit that he was talking about, like that was mainly what was going to make this type of crowd laugh, yep. right? So I need to be talking about, like, dick, ass, pussy, all this type of shit. I had to be very <laughs> vulgar in order to get a laugh, <laughs> and I wasn't. I was sitting here telling jokes about growing up in an all-white neighborhood and why I talk this way. So it, they just didn't land. So it was just like, oh, shit, this feels bad. Like, this <laughs> <is the problem." laughs> like I'm actually getting no laughter. For, like, I was like, oh, man, like this is awful. And, like, dude, my confidence was, like, stuck for a couple days. <laughs> so I, I well, messaged him. I was like, dude, I just bombed for the first time. It's just awful, bro. <laughs> I was like, I don't like this shit. It's all. <laughs> Hold on. From what I remember, though, there was more than that. But oh yeah, it was a lot more than that. I'm, I'm simplifying for the, for the crowd, but for it's just sure. like, yeah, for there sure. was a bunch of other factors <laughs> that played into why I felt the way that I felt about it. Yeah. But it was just like that was that was the main reason I'm gonna say is that my material for that per- point in time just didn't land. You know what I'm saying? There was just. I wasn't well, on my show. It's not going to land. Like, no matter what you come up with, Everybody there's always bobs. going to be oh, an yeah. audience. That, that, be, that, that became super obvious with. about the first halfway through. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And everybody's a critic. Everybody's going to have the, th- okay, well, the one time you were vulgar, oh, well, he's too dirty. Yeah. The yeah. one time you weren't vulgar oh enough, gosh, oh, that was Becky. really corny. He said, fuck. <laughs> he like, said fuck okay. 23 times. That was way <laughs> too many. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, how dare he go over it? Yeah, it does not matter what you do, how you do it. It, you know, everybody's different, so you're not always going to kill. That's the thing. Like, that's what the whole comparison. Comedy's not music. Yeah. Music, everybody can find that melody, that note, that beat that they like. And, oh, okay, this is nice. I enjoy this. Or, yeah, it's okay, but man, I'm here. You know? Right. Comedy, it's a whole thing of, like, you got to fucking hit every time. Because if you it, don't. Say just say it. Yeah. I was going to say another thing about the difference between comedy and music is, like, in music, you can be, like, I killed that dude, the gun's behind the locker, blah, blah, blah. And then you can be like, oh, no, that's just an art. But if you go up on stage as a comedian and be like, oh, yeah, I shot that guy three times in the chest, everybody's going to be like, you arrest this man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It depends. It depends. Because yeah. if you have, a, if you have the, the, you have like the character to sell it, they might, not, they might not believe you at all and just be like, oh, he's ax- that is a joke. That's going to be super funny. Well, it was weird. Like, all right, so uh, let's talk about murder. <laughs> yeah. So how many people <laughs> did you kill? <go? laughs> Seven that they can prove. Um, <laughs> um, I'm so honored to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, all right. So one one instance I had that was strange is I was doing a set and it was right after my dad had passed, mm-hmm. and I just started writing shit about it, and I was like, this. The, once again, I'm sick. So I'm like, all right, I, I got to figure out a way to make this funny. Yeah. You know, how can right. I Because if you didn't, it was going to destroy you. <laughs> per, yeah, pretty much. It still does. It's fucked up, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I went up, and the, the first time I did my set on that, I did five minutes tight on, you know, just dad dad jokes. Yes. I fucking crushed. I crushed. It was a, it was a great fucking set. Everybody's laughing. Second time I did it, same deal. I had people come up to me after, like, hey, thanks for telling me, like, I relate, like, this, you know, it, it, it's, it spoke to me on a level because I, I recently went through something that you're going through, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah. okay, cool, man, cool. That's, That's the cool thing about comedy, I think. Yeah. It is, until the third time. <laughs> I <did it>. <laughs> 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 He's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, it gets better. <laughs> yeah. Wait the for it. The third time I did this set. Wait for it. 
magic, so I thought it wasn't a bad <laughs> set, but it was just the fact I, I had to keep like baiting them in because they were like they were tensing up and I was like, Well, this is what you get tonight. I'm doing five. You're getting this five. I can't I can't just be like, So my dad's dead and I threw his ashes out of the fucking car on the way home. Ah, you know, like Whatever. By the way, has inflation gone crazy or what? <laughs> like, you know, I, there's no transition of what else yeah. I've already opened with. So yep. now I'm dedicated. I'm stuck. So I was like, all right. And <coughs> so now I have to do this really hacky tactic of like, guys, I'm kidding. Guys, relax. I'm just joking. Like, and then they would laugh. I had to like give them the green light to like, this joke's funny. You know, yeah. it's funny. I see you all smiling, but also like. It's not your dead dad I'm talking about. It's right. my dead dad. Right? Like, it's, like it's my dead. Yeah. And my that's dad? finally like my the dad. third or fourth time around. I, was, I had to hit him with that. I was like, hey, just so you guys know, this is my dad who's dead, not yours. You guys get to leave here tonight and be like, this comic sucked. Thank God you're still around, though. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like, you guys get to call him. I don't. He's done. He's on my nightstand. What do you want to talk about? Like, this is what he did. like what the fuck? You know? And, like, He's they, on my nightstand. they did come around. It was a good set, but mm -hmm. it was just that thing of, like, fuck, you guys are really making me work for this. Granted, it was also a whole bunch of drunk hipster kids who were like, I hate my dad, like, online, but also, trust one. Like, you know, right, I was right, like, all right, right fuck like, all of you already. Yeah, I already yeah, don't man. like you people, but it is what it is. So, so let me ask you this: What, what have you ever bombed before? Like, I, I'm just probably embarrassed to talk about. How have you ever like like uh, what is the what is <laughs> like the never <laughs> never not even close? Oh, <laughs> exactly. No, yeah, fuck yeah. I Absolutely. feel like any comedian that like tries to pretend like they haven't bombed is not a real comedian yet. I, I agree. This is like, dude, you like me too you much. Know? You <laughs> like me too much, and you have some idea built up in your head about <laughs> me or something because I did really well the first time we met. Bro, it wasn't a one off. <laughs> it, thank you. It wasn't a one off night for me. I do well. I am funny for sure. But yes, fuck yes, I fucking bombed, dude. I have ate shit so bad, dude. I once, I once, my worst. You want to hear my worst? I was bomb? gonna say, what's the no, worst? No, yeah, what you got? absolutely not. I want to hear. I would, I would, I would I love to not. All right, well then I'll you do, get I'll the fuck do, out. Yeah, I'll, I'll do mine. Take off his head. <laughs> I'll do mine after yours. You go. My worst bomb. <coughs> I was <laughs> didn't I, explode. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it fucking did. I go up. I was doing. I was supposed to do seven to ten. I ended up cutting my own set short. Oh shit! Because I, dude, seven to ten. That's fucking tight. Seven yeah. to ten is a uh, whatever. I don't yeah. give a shit. I, I could leave here and go hit someplace and do seven to ten a night. Not yeah. a problem. I go up. I was into my second bit. My first joke. <laughs> was just something stupid. It was off the riff. I can't remember what it was, but it was like, hey, you don't happen to be here in fucking wherever'sville. I, you guys fuck a lot of chickens around here. I don't know. So I'm whatever. I don't know. Just dumb, stupid so one liner. Right. 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 No, I was I was up by me. But it was <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was I'm just saying it was something like really lighthearted that was just whatever, uh -huh. you know? Okay, no laughs. And I was like, okay, this stuff. Uh joke about myself. Just to now I'm like, can I get you guys can we all hate me collectively? Like, I don't know. You know, so I dog myself or whatever. No laughs. And I was like, okay. Oh so no self deprecation no local references. Got it. Third joke. Now I'm actually doing work. Now I'm actually doing my bit. Mm -hmm. It's one of my better bits at the time. Still actually my favorite joke that I've ever written. I start getting into that. And I'm not even halfway through it. And I know this fucking bit kills. It's, it's done great every time I've ever done it. Yes. Except this time. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> so f I, just, I just cut it short. Except, I yeah. cut it short. I'm probably, I'm maybe three and a half minutes in. Damn. So and you're I not even all the way through the actual bit bit. Like, you made it through the two intro jokes. Yep. And you're now partially through your actual bit. Exactly. The fuck? Damn. They were just, so I've hit three punchlines of this joke. None of them have worked. <laughs> They're just, just all like, dead silent, just dead. <laughs> seriously, yeah. dude, looking at me, looking right. at me, exactly. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> wow. Where, where was this at, if, if I may ask? What the uh, fuck? Berea. Oh. Just a regular, just regular club in Berea. So like you've probably performed here before, right? Like just. Yeah, yeah. It was a show that I actually ended up taking over. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Even after this incident. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At this venue, well, it wasn't my crowd. What happened was the lady who was running it at the time, mm -hmm. um, you know, she would always bring a whole mess of fucking people 
And then one of the people reached out to her and was like, I want to be a comic. Can I do comedy? She's like, yeah, I'll tell you what. You bring a, you know, she, she not ran a bringer show, but it, it was just worked out in that instance. So one of the comics, this lady who thought she wanted to be a comic, she's like, let me, you know, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Finally, she goes, yeah, you can be on. So I'm on, she's on. And the other lady told her, the, the lady running the show told this other female comic or yeah. wanted want to be comic because she never did it again. Yeah. It was the one done for her, but it was whatever. So she goes, if you bring 10 people, I will give you stage time. Okay. So she so, brought 10 people. So she brought, no, she brought 25 fucking people. Oh, wow. In a venue that fits oh, seven. Wow. I can't even get fucking 25 to come down. Honestly, you <laughs> know what? No, she might have brought more. That's she might have. She brought a lot of fucking people. Like the whole so most of them were there to hers. see hers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was on a night to where I had nobody that I could bring. Like, like all the all the people that usually would come and see me. It was like four or five. They were all busy that night. So I was like, okay, whatever. It's I'm Brian Solo. Whatever. Either way, though, halfway through that bit, three to four punchlines deep, nothing's hitting, and it's with this older crowd. They're white and uncomfortable and they're strange. And finally, I'm like, maybe I'll just do crowd work. And I go, so tell you what. I go, this obviously isn't scratching your guys' itch. I go, what do you guys want to talk about? And the one guy referenced the joke that I was just doing. And he goes, spices? That's it? Spices. But that's all he gave you to work with. Dude, that was it. I don't even is, like that. This is... <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, there's 50... Yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's 40... Did you ever put 50, that shit on eggs? <laughs> there was 40 or 50 people in this venue. And the one guy... Who, I go, you know what? What do you guys want to talk about? That? And he just goes, spices. And I was like... <laughs> spices? He goes, like you were talking about. And I was like, the whole room should have erupted of laughter. Yeah, that was right. <laughs> Dude, no, you would think. And I go, I wish I could. And then I just stood there and I just looked at everybody and they were just like, yeah, spices. Yeah, that's a good idea. Dude, just like blank, no expression, like a whole bunch of uh, non playable NPCs, character motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah dude, Damn. just like a bunch of NPCs. Damn. And I was like, I'll take a gin and tonic. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been my time. And I left. I just fucking left. I was like, get the <laughs> fuck out of it. I was like, this is insane. Did she do well? The chick who brought all those people, did they laugh at her shit? Like the, the oh, yeah. But the best part is that she was doing the most <laughs> she ridiculous talk about shit ever. Salt the whole <laughs> no, time. no, 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 yes. no, no, no. She was doing, you guys know Andrew Dice Clay, right? Yeah. 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 I love that guy. Hickory dickory dog. Yeah, she's sucking my dick. Whatever. That shit. She was doing nursery rhyme jokes. She was doing Imagine. basically Andrew Dice Clay's act with different jokes, maybe. But I was like, fuck is going on right now? I'm like, this is the insane. actual major. Maybe they didn't yeah. laugh at you because they were afraid like <laughs> they would offend the person they came for if they laughed at anyone else. Dude, I don't I know. Tell. Maybe I didn't just stick like around to rooms. ask. I, yeah. I didn't want to be like, so was that good for you? Like, there was no reason to do that. Like, I already had my response. I was like, okay. So I did. I drank my fucking drink and I laughed. I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. This is insane. It's crazy. But yeah, I, it was basically like, I, I felt like I was doing comedy at a fucking Cracker Barrel. <laughs> None of these people have ever heard references before. It was right. insane. It was just like, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Bro, uh, I used to get so frustrated with that. Sexually? Well, that too. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that too. But the, uh, the fucking like golf tee game at Cracker Barrel. The golf tee game? Yeah, it's like a little oh, triangle like, oh, with like a bunch yeah. of golf tees, and there's yeah, only like one picks. spot open, and you're supposed to like jump I love them that all. Game. See, and I feel like over time I should have like learned the fucking algorithm yeah. or however to, uh, it still kicks it my ass to, <laughs> to this day. To this day, to this day, because I refuse to Google it. <laughs> and it just, it just. Not that I go to Cracker Barrel all the time. Yeah. Often, all the time. You know, not, not he's very going often. every Wednesday to try to <laughs> right? beat that. He's, o- he's only saying that because I'm sitting next. <laughs> he's, he's only saying that because I'm sitting next to him right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit going on right now. That first off, I admire your conviction that you're like, I'm gonna get this. So I'm not Googling it. I'm right. I'm going to hang in there. I'm going to make right, this bro. my bit. That's I'm the same way with God of War. I refuse. I like well, Sam actually he he. I also, watched is a JT couple of tutorials. the city girls out there? What the fuck is that? I hear <laughs> oh, yeah. it in my head. Oh, yeah, we have I a, think they recorded some. Yeah, they're yeah. Right. They're right. Miami and I can't remember my city. <laughs> like, that's all I'm hearing. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, 
But um, yo, shout out to the fucking city girls, dude. I hope they come back with something. <laughs> if they ever come back for real, the fucking I hope. But, uh, I, I hope they do. I, I like, like really want to. F- just like flick this shit out of your forehead right now. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, John has a lot of intrusive thoughts, man. The intrusive thoughts, yeah. the intrusive what, thoughts today. What was been your worst bad. bomb? What was your worst bomb? I forgot about that. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, thank you. Worst bomb, shit. Okay, so my worst bomb. So actually, we're at McAlpine Meadery. <laughs> <laughs> actually, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm it's, kidding. It's, it's actually we're talking about it's shows by the way. You said that because that's exactly where it happened. I could see that. That was weird. That was so weird. Did you pull up there and you're like, it's this is a shed? What the fuck? So I was so confused the first time. Is that what Fest Fest was? Yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Fest Fest was. Find the right spot. I'm in the woods right now. That's, that's actually what I'm about to talk about. My neighbor's was house. Fest when we were at Fest Fest I'm before you go, house. there was a there, dude. The one time I think it was like I think I've been there like twice. But the second time I went there, there was like this big burly dude with like a kill. nipple piercings and like a, like no shirt. The dude, on. the overalls. But like, yeah, I don't yeah. Want to, yeah, like a yeah, dude. I told on. you we Him met before. I told you we met. Yeah. His girlfriend or something. They were like trying to get me to do a threesome or something. You tried to book me for this shit. <laughs> I did. I tried to set you up. Fucking yeah. thanks. I'm so sorry. I tried so hard. <laughs> you go. You go. They're like, I heard you lay pipe. <laughs> I heard pop like that. That. But, uh, Boy, my sanitary shit is full. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> God damn it. But no, uh, so it was at Fest Fest. It was day one of Fest Fest. I'm hosting this. It was three day event. I'm hosting the three day event, right? <laughs> I'm up on stage. Now, I'm not going to try and make any excuses about it. You know what I'm saying? I was going through a little bit of something at the time. Sure. But I drank a whole bottle of mead to myself. They just gave it to us because we were hosting the event. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Now, we had a, a day one. A pretty that shit is good. Bottle. It will That's get you delicious. fucked up. <laughs> like, That's delicious. what took Adam Dangerous. out the game. And Dude. so I'm sitting there. I'm sipping on it. And uh, I just... I was so unmotivated. That was my problem, was that I was definitely unmotivated for the first time ever to do comedy. And it was my job to do comedy in between sets, right? So I get up on stage... And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling the same jokes that I know, like you said, that the jokes that I know work. Like, it's the regular type five that I've, that I've tried to, like, perfect and so I can make it, like, a, a long seven or whatever the fuck. But I just, I, when I started that telling like a them, comedy thing? Like a, a, a short five to a long seven or whatever the fuck you just said? No, well, I just said long no, seven. No, type no, five no, is a thing. But yeah. yeah, type five, that's, like, your audition. That's your yeah. set that you normally run that you know really well. That's yeah. tight. You you have it down. You right, bust right. that out in five, five minutes, minutes successfully. Well, I've, 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 I'm just curious like, I've heard a, you say it, like, three or four times now, and I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? No, that's, yeah, that's, like, that's your building block. That's yeah, your comedy jargon. Going yeah. up on stage yeah, giving them the long seven. You already know. If I do good enough, that's what I give them when I'm off, you know? He did open uh, by saying she was 18. So that's <laughs> that's you know what I'm but so I'm on yeah. stage and shit, and I'm just like, all right, cool. I'm totally drunk. Like I'm, <laughs> like, I'm fucked up. Like, I'm fucked up trying to tell these jokes that I know hit whenever I'm sober. Sure. So I'm just like, yo, what's the deal with airline food? You know what I'm saying? Just like, just, just fucking with them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not fuck. And the, it's not landing at all. I have a crowd of people on grass, like, <laughs> sitting in front of me. Just like, you know, again, deadpan faces, nothing's going on. And then they like, look like Wednesday Adams up in this ba- basically, basically because he's like they're, they're all sitting like cross legged in front of the stage because we had to build an impromptu stage outside. I, I remember that. Of the yeah. Was that this year? Yeah, no, that was fa- that was Fest Fest last, last year? year. Yeah, so Jesus. We, so I'm sitting on this big ass impromptu stage built out of two by fours <laughs> and like fucking pallets and shit, and Hold like on the top. Yeah, yeah so I'm I'm just like I'm trying to I'm really trying to do this like I'm really trying to hit this shit like you know what I'm saying I'm going into it and mm-hmm. then I get into the part where you know what I'm saying that you got a dad joke basically. Where I yeah. basically talk about how me being upper middle class black was like how I thought was the shit until I get name brand cereal for the first time at my white friend's house. That shit <laughs> normally, <laughs> fu- that shit, that shit normally, bit, yeah. yeah, that shit normally goes fucking phenomenal, right? <laughs> you mean you but don't when, eat Coco Dino, but it's like, it's like, <laughs> like what? I got booty O's at the crib, and you got fucking frosted flakes. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Taller white dude walks through the house dressed See, like yeah, my friend. That's funny. It's that's like good. you got that a dad. Shit should land. I'd be yeah. like, you got a dad? What the fuck is that like? It's like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so it's just like I'm, uh, it's not hitting at all. And I know why. So I'm just like, now I'm fucking, I'm, I'm getting internalized. I'm Hold like, on, oh. put a pin in that. Why? Because You said you know why. Why? Because I was not trying my hardest, and I was entirely too inebriated when I should not have been when I was doing a job. I was hired to do this. Okay, yeah. fair enough, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, so like, I was hired to do this, and I'm fucking it up. Like, I'm I thought you were going to say it wasn't relatable, because there's a bunch of white people like, oh, no, yeah, no, no, we no. have a dad. His name's <laughs> Alan. Do we, do we, <laughs> should we do we FaceTime with this young black guy He's here? Right over there. Like, like, I didn't, <laughs> this I didn't, is dad. This is dad. I didn't that like guy that was trying to fuck your boy over here, that's our dad. That's our dad. He's all of our dad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. you're good. Nipple piercings and later hosen. Yeah, that's, that's pops. See, now that's probably why it wasn't relatable because they just see <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
I was not animating it. I wasn't doing my regular like you know what I'm saying. I wasn't exuberant as I normally sure, yeah. was Sloppy. to, to try yeah. and like just. I was very very unprofessional about it. Mm. So uh, I shortly passed out on the couch after that when I still had what was it like seven hours of a show left to host. Oh, so like no. a bigger crowd showed up after that, and I'm beat up on the fucking couch, bro. Like feet the fuck. I up. think I have a video yeah. of you. Literally, like, he out. showed yeah. up. Yeah. He showed up. He showed up. I'm gone. I don't remember oh, any shit. of this. I'm so. I'm just out. I have two more days of this. And so like, I, they should have fired me. I'm not even gonna cap. They should have fired me. But thank God the people at All Circles Media and Master Puff are uh, very gracious and they understood what was up. What, what was up with me? But I still. That was. I was so mad at myself because I knew I could have did better. And that was a crowd that like. I, I was obligated to do this because yeah, like, we tried man. to set this festival up like for so long and All it right. finally panned out and I just kind of fucked it up day one for me personally. The rest of it went great. So well, that's like, good. That's oh good. yeah. So like that was my worst bomb personally. Right and uh, my ex-girlfriend who was there at the time continuously told me about it afterwards. So oh, I was just kind of like, oh yeah, that's shitty. Just, that's oh, yeah. What do you mean, just like <laughs> rubbing hey, you in your face? Kinda, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why she an ex. Yeah, yeah. yeah basically, like, we we were we were arguing at the time. We were like not together at the time, and uh, she basically was just like, you know, you could have done way better at that show. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, you know, I just, you, know, just like, you should have passed it off to the other host. It was just like because we had Captain Dab there for like a minute, and so I'm Did just kind of like, no, I just want to make sure they oh, okay. they see the talent. Yeah. I'm just kind of being a piece of shit. But no, I dealt I dealt with it. It was it was all right. I felt like. Just low for a minute, but I you get right back on the horse for real. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, no, I now know what not to do. You know what but I'm saying? Yeah, and you know what? Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes yeah. you have to get that bomb because then you're like, oh, you know. It's, it's like Mark Norman said it best. Bombing is not bad. It's just data. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know true. what I mean? Would you, would you rather bomb with like 100 people there or would you perform with like nobody there? I would probably, honestly, both for real. Honestly, both for real because like I've done that before like to practice to myself. Like there was like, Back in school, there was, like, big-ass auditoriums and stuff, like, you know, whenever we had to do, like, band practice or whatever that fuck. And I would go there sometimes just when they were empty and just, like, act shit out from fucking Power Rangers on the stage by myself. You know what I'm saying? It was my favorite show at the time. Uh, also, shout-out Jason David Frank. Uh, rest in power, my dude. Ooh, R.I.P. What if I just pour yes. this on? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We'll clean it up. Uh, we lost a lot of celebrities. And then starts, like, slurping it. <laughs> a lot of good celebrities this year. But I will say that I would... Bombing in front of 100 people, for me, is still one of those things where, like he said, it's data, it's experience, it's gonna hurt, regardless. Because, like I said, the stage fright doesn't ever go away. I not, It's no. not that I expect to bomb when I get up there. It's just, if I do good, it's like, holy shit, that's awesome. It's like, whenever you play a video game and you're going into a boss fight, that's what it feels like for me every time. You're approaching this boss fight, you have no idea how you're gonna do it, and you most likely are going to fail. Dark but Souls, Grey Door. Dark, yeah, yeah, you know Dark what I'm saying? But then you get it, you know what I'm saying? But then you, you try your hardest and you actually get it. And it's just like, all right, cool. Like, fuels me to keep doing this type shit. I don't know, dude. I mean, I definitely have never done comedy in my life, but I've spoken in front of hundreds of people. I love doing that. That's and so like, much easier for me for some reason. I have no idea why. And done, like... It's because you have a sultry fucking voice. It's, mo- it's, it's, it's different. <laughs> it's different you got a person. hot daddy voice, dude. That's <laughs> what it is. It's Thank not you. a problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. But, like, I don't no know. Like, like, going into a boss fight, like, I feel like... You got at some point you should transition from like going into the boss fight, like thinking like, how the fuck am I going to pull this off? To like going into the boss fight, thinking like, how the fuck is this boss fight going to pull this off? Like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what I mean, like, yeah, the, the different tables lines. turn. You're, oh, yeah, you're I'm teaching and doing marketing stuff. It's different trying to go into a business room and making all of them laugh versus being like, here, let me teach you how about your business or like, let me oh, teach yeah. you like some. Yeah, you know that's true. I am. Yeah, I'm a speak, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah speaking I'm to education, educate, speaking to yeah. educate, and speaking to entertain. Because then you're the boss of that room when you walk into it because they're all. Here for you, you're looking at. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Well, maybe as a comedian, right? Well, well in a comedian, when you're starting out, they probably aren't doing that. You're pointing and like doing fists and shit. So like, I feel yeah, like I you am. Should just no, talk. I'm yeah. fucking. I'm over here, like just. You're jumping at the bit. Like, no, I'm just, having a seizure. Don't mind. The, <laughs> 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 the bottle's almost empty. This way, but... Yeah, no, no, no. I had two questions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You are. I'll get back to your show. <laughs> your question. Yeah. yeah. Performing. As in doing well for nobody, yeah, or bombing for a hundred, yeah, it's one in the same. One in the same. One in the same. It's literally one in the same. Because okay, if you bomb in front of a hundred people, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna go, "That guy suck." Yeah. If you do well in front of a hundred people at the level we're at, they're gonna go, "Oh, that was nice." There's no followers that come from it. There's no, "Hey, do you want to do the thing?" I mean, there is to an extent, but there's not. Yeah. It's, it's very. It's very fucking. It's it's all low risk, low yeah. reward for where we're at. we're not at the fucking we're not doing a set at the Canton Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, right. we're not at right, hilarities. Right. We're not at 
you know, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, that place that's going to provide that audience that's going to be so invested that they're going to be like, I want to invest in you with my time. I want to follow you, your career, want to spend money, go to your events, go to your shows, whatever, buy your merch, blah, blah, blah. None of that shit's happening. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess it was more no. of a personal question. Like, do you feel better killing in a room of like three people, or does it feel worse to bomb in front of a room of a of a hundred people? Like, I mean, the bomb, yeah, the bomb for sure feels worse, especially in front of a hundred. You're gonna be like, wow, I've, yeah, I'm a dick. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Fair. You crush in front of three, four people. You're like, oh, cool, that's yeah. good. But also, it's still the same outcome is mm-hmm. what I'm getting at. There's not yeah. much that's going to be. There's not much backlash at this level just yet. Yeah, it's you know not that much different. It's a, it's way different if you do have some notoriety to you, oh, yeah. and, and people are going to be like, "Oh yeah, I, I remember him. He fucking yeah. ate his dick for 20 minutes." <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 same question, right? Same, he laid same question. For also, do you guys yeah. have do you guys have uh, more booze by chance? <laughs> so now we're gonna have to pick some up after this. Fuck. But, uh, same, <laughs> like, now, same man. question. But <laughs> drink all right, boys, we gotta wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, for for you also, like, I need two more bottles of Miller Lite. And same question at the at a, at another level. Let's say like a couple years from now, whenever we have a little bit more notoriety under the belt, right? Sure. If I ever get to the point where I'm not, I know I'm not going to just yet. But let's say I get some Kevin Hart level fame. You know what I'm saying, and I sell out maybe Madison Square Garden. I probably would not do comedy for a good while until I got my shit until I got my groove back. If I bombed in front of like, let's say. A bill, like what? How much did he sell that out for? It was like fucking like like forty million or something like that. Like the whole, Holy. like all of Madison Square. Oh, right. He yeah, sold yeah, all yeah. of that. Imagine out. bombing for forty just million for a court, just for a comedy right, show. Right, exactly. Yeah, Funny, you already got the when, check when <laughs> he did. When he did, let me explain. They had already paid him for it, right? But he went out there, and obviously no one would ever get their money back if they did. If he did bomb, but he went out there and fucking killed it, and they made a movie out of it, right? Sure. But that's a comedian selling out Madison Square Garden. Like you got to be damn near a boxer or a professional wrestler to even get that venue. You yeah, know what I mean? so it's just like I would feel. Yeah. Bad if I did ruin that for myself at that point in time because obviously it's going to hit the tabloids, the news, all that extra bullshit. You know but what? I haven't given up my right to privacy just yet because I'm not that famous. Yeah. So if yeah. it ever does reach yeah. that level, yeah, it's going to feel worse. It's going to definitely feel worse. But if after that I kill it in front of a room with three people, I'm right back on the horse. You feel me? Like, it's like, all right, cool. It's the like, 40 million yeah. probably would help too. Exactly. I already got paid for that. I already got paid yeah. for that. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, uh, it's, it's the whole mentality. Like, sometimes you just need to win, man. It doesn't yeah. matter how big the win is mm-hmm. or yeah. how small. True. It just True. sometimes yeah. you just need one to fucking get you, yep. you know, yeah. to get that spark on again. Yeah. Plus, if you don't fall, how are you ever going to know what getting up feels like? Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Uh, do you ever see the Bill Burr thing where he like bombs in front of this like whole crowd and they like start booing him and shit and then he just yeah. starts ripping like he just go he loses his mind and then and they like flip on shit him. on the car yeah he, mm-hmm. and then they like flip and they start to actually like him just and he it. wasn't they just roasting the whole crowd. he wasn't he wasn't bombing there's a whole story oh, he behind wasn't that bombing? He wasn't? no 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 he wasn't bombing it was uh uh one of his friends I think Dom Irera old comic was bombing Bill Burr respects Dom Irera. So he goes out to Philly. Philly is one of the most notoriously hard crowds to work with because Philly is full of fucking animal, filthy dirt bags. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but they were they were giving everybody shit that night. So then Bill Burr goes up and he's doing all right, but also he's like, man, fuck you guys. He's like, you guys just kind of shit on or didn't give enough respect to one of the people that were a- ahead of my class. Yeah. And yeah, and then he goes into the the quote unquote Philly ramp, which yeah. is uh, it's old news now. If you pay attention to comedy like heavily, it's right. old news. It's fucking. That would, it'd be like us talking about the Amber Heard trial. I'd be like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about that. Right, right. It's right. even older than that type shit. Yeah. And he fucking kills them. He's like, you're all <laughs> bald and look like shit. I hope you get cancer. You already <laughs> look like you have cancer. Like he's demolishing a whole fucking arena. I believe. Mm-hmm. Just <laughs> Shitting eviscerates him. <laughs> Just roast the shit out of every single one of them. He's like, fuck you. I hate you. The city sucks. You're going to leave here. You're going to go home alone. You're not even going to be able to get hard because your arteries Jesus are all fucking carotid. Christ. He's just going in going on. Absolutely yeah. Just shit. murders them all. And yeah. that brought them back <clears> on <throat> to the point to where they're all laughing. They're cackling, hackling, fucking dying at the shit he's saying. I was like, right, I do Bill look Burr. like shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bill, Burr. <laughs> Bill Burr is one of the fucking greats for a reason. Yeah, oh, that yeah. dude Burr. is a That's fucking sure. monster. Who's your favorite comedian? Of all time, Ooh. yeah, both of you, both of you, you sure. first of Damn. all time, of all time, yeah. dude. I'd have to do like, or at least like top three, top, top three. three. Yeah. Can yeah. I give you yeah, like top a top three. five? Can I give you top five? No, top three, top three, all right, top, three. top three, yeah, right. top three, right. top five is too much. I will start. Um, you guys have ten seconds. All right, my top three. Number one for me personally is Dave Chappelle. 
That's you behind. still got three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, behind him. Would Hold on, let me go out and smoke a cigarette real quick. <laughs> <laughs> behind him, honestly. Four hours later. Honestly, yeah. would have to be George Carlin. <laughs> Dude, George Carlin friend. was a savage. Yeah. Pioneer. Oh, yeah. And then behind George Carlin, oh, honestly, probably would have to be Eddie Murphy for me. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Old Eddie Murphy, like you know hell yeah. Old. Like I just, dude, I, I remember the first time I saw a Raw on VHS, and I was just like, <laughs> I need a purple suit just like that right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, everybody, I was so ready. Everybody, that's was, so fucking iconic. Yeah, oh, that's dude, such it was a like, great because do you know how fucking good of, of a fucking comic you have to be to where not only did you murder, oh, not only did everybody love what you did who saw it afterwards, but they want to wear the fucking shit you wore on stage. Yep. And you know it looks uncomfortable. Like it's just you know how <laughs> you know how I know I do well when I leave here, because I've made all of you guys laugh five times. That's it. That's all I have. That's how low the fucking bar is for me. I'm like, ah, oh, they all laugh five times. Good, good. That's it. I leave. If I come back here in a month and you guys all have this outfit, I'm gonna be like, wow, I fucking. I slaughtered the I am gonna like, need that vest though for real. I ain't even gonna catch like, it. No. Um, you no, go but that King. would be that would be a whole thing. At <laughs> Walmart, okay. I'm going to fucking <laughs> What's your top <laughs> My uh fuck dude. It's eerily similar. I'll tell you that. It's <coughs> I hate to say it because I'm gonna leave one of my favorite comics out. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you who the favorite honorable comic mention. is. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honorable mention for sure. Um, it's it's gonna be Chappelle. Uh-huh. Okay. It's gonna be Carlin. Uh-huh. Okay. And it's gonna be Burr. Yeah. All but right. Burr. Mm-hmm. Tom mention. Segura has to be. I was literally thinking that dude, also. Tom, Tom Segura is so fucking, fucking good. amazing, amazing. But then again, I mean, dude, there's a lot. There's a lot of great comics. So and what it do you, does it does especially right well. now? Bro. Real quick, real quick. Joey Diaz. Though? What do you think about Joey Bobby Diaz Lee? and Andrew Schultz? He's got me into Andrew Schultz. Andrew, I, Andrew I have Schultz. I had no idea who that dude was until about a year ago. He like showed it to me in the middle oh, of yeah. pandemic. Theo Vaughn is also great. Theo Vaughn is yes, an amazing. Sir. Theo Vaughn is a walking mullet. But that's hilarious. That's why I love Ali Sadiq. Oh, I love him too. Ali Sadiq is Ari Shab- John Bruton. John Bruton up in yep. Cleveland fucking opens up yep. for him. Uh, for Ali? Oh, really? That's awesome. I didn't know that John he opened Bruton up for John Bruton goes on the road for Ali Sadiq. Dude. That's awesome. Wow. I really want to meet Ali. He seems so pretty cool. I saw him when oh, he was yeah. telling prison stories, like all the way back on, like, this can't be <laughs> happening with Ari Shafir. Yeah. And it's just yeah. Like, so what do you think? Yeah, of, that's how I found out about him too, dude. He's, pers- he's a monster. He's a personally, what do you think of Bobby Lee? What do I think about him? Yeah, what, like, what do you think? Like, uh, like, like as as far as like as his comedic style, what do you think of Bobby Lee? Like, dude, he's amazing. I think so too. I he's feel like I, he should Bobby be in more Lee. movies. He I, should be in more. He's movies. a short Asian dude who like always wear. He's like he was on Mad TV back in the day. If yeah. you ever watched Mad TV, oh, I grew up, okay, I I grew up that, on yeah. Mad yeah. TV. I, yeah. I was a Mad TV kid. As soon as you said the yeah. shirts so were too small, that's where Key and Peel came from. Also, Mad TV. You want to talk about? Yeah, dude, Mad TV. Mad TV is so fucking beast. And I grew up watching that shit, and that was another like that. I prefer that to SNL. L for it, for real. Fuck yeah. Fuck like, yeah. I loved it. Fucking Will Sasso dude. was the first oh, comedian that I had. Yeah. Sasso is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Will Sasso is fucking amazing. Phil yeah. Lamar, dude. Phil that Lamar, class, all of them. That class of people got me so invested yeah. in comedy, uh, like, in a different way than what Comedy Central presents for sure. was now, doing for me. Yes. Just another sure. random just another random thing that you've said, like, three or four times. Now. What is a class of comics? Is that uh, just like people genre, that come up together? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, an, like era an era, of, an era yeah. of comedy. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. It's the same yeah. thing yeah. like with musicians. Yeah, like the XXL. Like yeah, it's yeah. like that. Okay, yeah. gotcha. gotcha. I uh, I personally like Phil Lamar. Actually, did meet him at Comic Con once. He actually does. That like, had to be fucking crazy. Oh, it was awesome. He did, has voiced every single famous black cartoon character that I love for like. Not ever. even that. Everything like, ever, dude. Yeah. He's in <laughs> everything. <laughs> he is in everything. fucking every, everything. Everything. Phil Lamar is doing a fucking fifth person in this closet right now on the microphone. I swear to God, like for real. Phil Lamar is in fucking everything. His voice is that reading so Rainbow guy. That's not reading. No, no, no. That's no blank. That, that, that's no. a different dude. That's but, how yeah. we just found out you're racist. By the way, just saying. <laughs> Clip that. No. <laughs> My dad. No, no that's, that's Lamar something or another. What? I think that was like. I'm the, just think the, the, like the reading rainbow dude. His first name is Lamar, not his last name. <laughs> dude, I don't know. I can barely read, so I couldn't tell you. But no, dude. F- yeah, Phil Lamar. He's a fucking beast. Oh yeah. And like comedically. Like every skit that he was in, fucking murdered, just killed, bro. It was awesome. It was it really was crazy. Was really I don't know how much he wrote for Man TV. I would imagine it was a lot, but the fact that he did that and then just quote unquote disappeared because you don't see him in much. Yeah. But go through anything and his name is in the credits. Yeah. Anything. It mm-hmm. does not fucking. Mm-hmm. Dude, you could look up season six, 
episode four of Grey's Anatomy, Phil Lamar was in that shit. Like, <laughs> right. that is, like, the depths of this man. Oh, it is did. insane. So, so let me ask you this. Would you ever, if when it comes to sketch comedy, if yeah. you were drafted for a sketch comedy show, would you rather do that or would you rather be a writer? For the sketch comedy show. Well, where do you think your position would fit Both, best? dude. I want to get into it. I, like I want to get into right it a lot, I but go. I don't have I don't have the technical know-how. I wouldn't mind spending the money to get it done, though. To just to get up because there? Because I do. I do. I have a lot of skits, like, written out. Mm-hmm. But I don't, like, for instance, I've never written a script. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how to... Like, like, like script writing tradi- in particular? Yeah, I don't like know how formal. to traditionally, yeah, formally write it out properly. Mm-hmm. But the shit that I think of or the way that my brain works, <laughs> it is a thing of I could. I you think you'd fit like well in that environment. You think you'd probably right, be able yeah, to work I think, with I think team. it is a thing that I think I could excel at. It's just <laughs> I haven't gone out and ventured at it yet because I'm right now I'm just so focused on stand up. Oh, yeah. But I do. That is something I eventually want to get into oh, along yeah. with podcasting. I would, I would love to transition that way as well. I've always wanted to. I did like we made little videos as like kids and shit like back whenever YouTube was first first coming out. And I never considered that anything. But as you get older and you see the comics that have been made from sketch comedy, right? The comics that have been like, you know, what I'm saying I, I guess we could throw Pete Davidson out there. Sure. I suppose you could throw like um, uh, 80 Bryant, stuff like that. You could. There's a lot of cool people, SNL alumni who are famous comedy movie stars right now, like super fucking famous. And oh, they yeah. didn't even half of them didn't even do stand up before that. They mm. were just like, yo, mm. they were either a writer beforehand that decided they want to get on like weekend update and everyone who does weekend update gets a fucking talk show like if you think about it like literally mm-hmm. everybody who does weekend update gets their own talk show eventually mm-hmm. i think i could do some shit like that if i wasn't a comedy writer for a significant amount of time because i don't want to do you hollywood just, you could, it could go bad like that it could go it. bad we could both end up like aries spears oh man that's wild dude we just do interviews with dj bland that's oh, dude, I'm not getting shit on, on i am not getting on blast have you seen uh tmp will sasso uh uh, Brian Callen and uh, Chris D'Elia. I have. Is that their? Uh, do they have a podcast? Is that their podcast? Yeah, a long time ago they had a ten minute podcast thing, yeah. and it's hilarious. But you could always end up doing something like that. Oh, like, dude, I don't want to go out like Chris D'Elia. That shit was like, fuck that, dude. Well, <laughs> okay, minus that <laughs> part, you know, <laughs> minus <laughs> minus the controversy. Uh, why would that, what, what happened with Chris D'Elia? Uh, so, Chris, so Chris D'Elia <laughs> is very. It's weird. Okay, so he's a he was a famous comedian. Has anyone ever seen that Netflix TV show? You. With Fuck yeah! Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? In, do you remember in season two, uh-huh. the he, fucking pedophile dude who he <coughs> who he killed, who was taking pictures of little girls and shit. Yeah. Like uh, the, his oh, name. Yeah, yeah. His name was like Henderson on that. He show. also plays a pedophile in workaholics. Yeah. Also played a pedophile in workaholics. Turned out to turned out to be yeah. a pedophile in real life <laughs> later on. Yeah. Whoa, after wait. paying. That's what I was. Wow. Wow. You really? Wait. Wait. He was method acting. He got. He got. Chris Dalian. Really? No, but he. Yeah. Chris Dalian. He he got cleared. Is this real or is this like no? This is real. No, 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 no. This is real. This is real. So if you go and QAnon, if you go and wait, look, you don't think QAnon's real? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you go, if, I am Q. You know, <laughs> if you go back and you watch, like, he did play a pedophile in Workaholics, and he played a pedophile in You. Obviously, that was his character in You. Sure. Now his uh, later Method came, acting got to him. Uh, it came out later on <laughs> that he was oh he was sending Snapchats to uh, you know underage girls and shit, and when uh-huh. they called him out on it on the Fighter and the Kid podcast, um, he just found out that Snapchat, like when you delete fucking snaps or whatever, right? The police can still go get those from fucking Snapchat because they're all, they're all archived. Yeah, they're all archived. And he didn't know that before. But didn't he get so cleared? Because he has a podcast he, still. Like he, he still, still has, has a podcast. A... He got, listen, so like the chick who was suing <laughs> I don't, I'm just curious. The chick who was, su- the chick they, who was they, suing they him settled. dropped the case. <laughs> the, the chick who was suing him dropped the case. I see. Yeah. So they settled out of court. Yeah, so that's, that's what I heard. So we gave them millions of dollars. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's exactly what yeah. I just said. So I was like, but... That was a lot of shit to come out at that time. And if and you know what's crazy about it? I would have not believed it had all the other comics that knew him also kind of backed off. They were just like, yo, as a person, like, I didn't expect him to do no shit like that. But now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, yeah. Or, like, a couple of them came out and said that, oh, you know what? He's always kind of been that way. But I never fucking really knew. I thought he was joking or whatever. Yeah, nobody but backed him. So yeah. it was like nobody. None of his friends. Yeah, everyone. none of his yeah. friends backed him. That's Bobby not Lee a good talking. sign. Not yeah. Yeah. That's not a good sign. No. None Vaughn, of your homies Bobby are Lee. like, no, there's the, no way this there, dude could have done it. There's a big ass like, bubble of, like, you know, comedian podcasters that all came from that era. Like, you know, like Will Sasso, Bobby Lee, and all that stuff. Like, Tom Segura, and, like, you know, they all. 
fucked off and like <laughs> yeah, they, yeah they <laughs> dude, did. Even, dude not even the machine Burt Kreischer won't even fuck with you like, you know what I'm saying? like, like Ari Shafir who drugged Burt Kreischer also wouldn't fuck with you so it's just like you got like Ari's, Ari's a real one though yeah, I exactly. totally but, forgot but, about that but you got like comedians who are like of some note who you used to be best friends with like this guy used to be in your house like around your kids and shit now yeah. that's what made it solid for me is that like oh if your friends ain't even backing you I can't fucking, wow. I didn't I know yeah. I didn't know yeah. it was that deep oh yeah I, I had think, no idea. yeah cause I I, I, like, I heard about it I heard like some yeah. shit and I was like but then again, this same time, this is the fucking pandemic. Exactly. When QAnon was a thing, and it's everybody's a pedophile. Oh, Hillary yeah. Clinton was fucking my right. niece last week. You know what I mean? Like, oh, all yeah. that I was like, okay, dude, whatever. No, I'm saying the government's been eating babies for years. I'm like, now we know it. Just, right. They're, they're stealing yeah. the blood. I need, out of the, the, I need the adrenochrome. Yeah. 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 Dude, for, oh, my God, dude. I, there, so, there was so many people last during that <laughs> pandemic that unironically would either tell me that they're the devil or like tell me that they're like a meme lord who does like fucking, who knows enough about the government. same thing. <laughs> knows enough yeah, about the government to fucking like uh, it's ridiculous yeah those are all the same people that have barely a GED or couldn't pass the GED so I was like alright yeah, yeah I guess most likely dropped out <laughs> yeah. but I did, I did hear a saying I really like no though. disrespect yeah. to the hard working folks out there trying to get a GED but I'm just saying it was just like yeah, those hard working pipe layers out there yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something like yeah. conspiracy is the deduction of of us of a conclusion when there is a lack of evidence so it's like it's not now saying, you're saying a bunch of words that it, it basically was saying like not all of them are right but not all of them are wrong either and yeah, it's not that's bad right. it's not yeah. bad to like look for conspiracy because how can you ever find truth if you're not looking yeah. so i mean sure but also just don't be on the same level of the people that like fucking make youtube illuminati videos yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't be like, that crazy and plus i feel yeah. like right. there's definitely a way to handle those sort of things when controversy comes your way like if you just get ahead of it and just not fucking like let people talk shit about you just be like hey this is what's being said about me here's my official statement saying yada yada or whatever the fuck it is uh, whether yeah. whether it has to go through legality or not like if you truly ain't do some shit speak on it you know what i'm yeah. saying like if you truly because this is a very I cut thing most people yeah. have done some shit and then they're like oh what do you guys think about the balenciaga <laughs> thing the that shit's the so fucked. That's so With weird, like bro. the BDSM. The oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. So, so fucking so weird. Okay, what's your, what's your okay, take okay. on it, Kevin? So, all right. So the quick rundown, quick synopsis that I know. Okay. Because I don't know all of it. Because okay. I don't pay attention. Dude, I'm wearing a fucking Wrangler vest from Walmart. You think I pay attention to Blunty? I got dumped. <laughs> 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 fucking pissed off. I spent $3 on this Miller Highlight 40. I'm going to save the bottle to put change in it later. I'm frugal. I'm not <laughs> By any means. But <coughs> so, like I said, my quick synopsis of it is they create they created an ad yes. for it. Yeah, it was an ad, and it was children's toys, specifically teddy bears. Yes, covered in BDSM some of these gear. Who had? Hold on. Like they had a harness or collar. It was a full BDSM outfit. Well, they also had full a... Full BDSM outfit? Yeah, like, I'm talking, it was I'm talking like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there is no tits here, but they were like, the tits were framed, and they're feeling like there's a thong. Harness. They harness, a, yeah. Like, they also the had with a book. Uh, yeah. uh, He's like, artist. you're not using was, like, technical using, terms uh, here. Like, I know what this is. It's called a harness. <laughs> I know what to Google. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Choker so, chain. Uh, okay. Actually, I could just look at the picture. I have. Yeah, they yeah, had a, please they had do. A, they had please an art book you. as well from like some artist who draws like nude children eating each other. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. First off, <laughs> first off, where did you get that info? No, no, I don't know if you anything or have heard anything about that. You can that. look it up. It's in the background. I'll see if I can find it again. All right, I got it. Okay. What did you say? I'll find it. Hold on, hold on. Before before you even get into that, let's just base it off my shit of what I've seen because I haven't seen everything that this man's seen. All right, let me, Which, right, by the way, you should be in on watch list for seeing what you've seen, but because <laughs> I don't know if you had to extra Google that or what the fuck well, you I did. I looked but up the artist in the book, and I was like, "God damn, this is fucked." You did the artist. Has I had to. You have to if you want to know the truth. I mean, sometimes you gotta go to some dark places. <laughs> All right, so, like, so, no, I refuse. It's research. It's research. It's research. It's research. It's research. All right. All right. <laughs> Dude, you guys don't understand. I have an hour ride home. This is a lot of shit to unpack for me. I'm going to be chain smoking six. Like, fuck, dude. Those bears. Like, what? It's a lot. No. So, just just out of... Okay. You know what? That's what the picture is. He didn't get to say what the fuck? That's what the picture is? Yeah. This is what he knows. This was... This was... That's what... Yeah. I think it zoomed in a little. I think it zoomed in a little bit. I've never seen anything Yeah, that's the ad right there that they actually ran. That's this is in the New York Post, by the that's way. The so this is like legitimate. Yeah, right? I think it's honestly, zoomed in a little bit. Honestly, what I'm going to say is they seem pretty progressive. I think both of these children have downs. So Michael. good for them. 
Whatever they're doing with these bears, that's fine. These children both have downs. Yeah, so these are the... This, I'm this just... By the way, you guys are tightening up on me. You guys are so <laughs> far out. I'm kidding. So here's, here's, I'm kidding. Here's the image. Over here. In that book in the background with the, with the red circle, if you scroll down... Okay, that's... The pictures, those are the pictures oh, that are okay, in that book. That's tough. Okay, yeah. No, th- that's this tough. Is like, this was the other side of that ad. Yeah. So this is... Is this a mom day drinking that's because she's pissed about having children? What's up? What so we? this is the book and the artist, and if you scroll down, this is the art that is in that book. And that's on the New this York... This is on the New York Post. So this that's York like Post. attached to the ad next Is that yeah. the, that's is the, that the artist? Yeah. That's the I don't artist. think that... I don't know if that's, that's the artist just a model? That's the like head... That's like the... I don't know who that is. I think she's like the CEO or something. Okay, because I was going to say, she's not allowed to be that hot and have these fucked up of thoughts. Yeah, well... So yeah. there's that too. But no, all right. All jokes aside, yeah. that's fucked up. Uh, thanks for the nightmares. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's terrible. They're, they But then again, it's the same point. They're trying to push a line... And I'm not defending them because yeah. it's fucked up. Yeah. Also, no offense, I don't care if I had eighty hundred million dollars, whatever. Uh-huh. If I have stupid money, I'm not buying that shit. Yeah, dude, Facts. no offense. Look, no, my, no, look at my motherfucking outfit. Look at this fucking outfit. All right, practicality. Yeah. Look at this. From Ohio, though. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, I can make sh- cheap shit look cool. I don't right. need to have Balenciaga. If you have the need to, if you have that in your heart, like, no, I need the Balenciaga, the Gucci, the fucking Louis, yeah. whatever. You're an asshole. Dude, if you're, you're a, a fucking comedian asshole wearing who that on have stage, no taste or style. It's I yeah. if you're wearing it if you're if you're rich and you're wearing it ironically, okay, funny. Very funny. Right. Tim Dillon had a whole fucking I think Balenci it was either Louis Vuitton or Balenciaga outfit. Right. And it cost him fucking stupid money. But it was satirical. He wore that outfit ironically. He's like, this is the dumbest fucking thing I could find and spend seventy thousand, eighty thousand, hundred thousand dollars on I'm it. Close. Hey, this, this is hilarious. Imagine being in poverty and literally having like a hundred thousand dollars of clothes. Well, you I mean you wouldn't have it? Yeah. Like, well, yeah. no, because you know it would just yeah. be fucking. Yeah. It would be eighty thousand of these hoodies that I'm wearing Paying right mortgage now. Mortgage on a hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. But the point is, is like yeah. these people are all fucked up. Yeah. They're they're like severely damaged fucking people. You have it, and. I don't know what goes on in that industry. I I couldn't even fucking begin to guess. But at the same time, like, there should be a prop. Like, dude, everybody's going to wear a T-shirt. Nobody wants to wear a $1,500 T-shirt. If yeah. you go so far out of the way to push the envelope on some, like, artistic, creative idea, that should be a that should be like a huge red flag. I think so. This has a business, bro. Like, why would you? And See, then like, why, if my product is that good, I don't have to do that. Look, I bought this fucking tall. I bought a goddamn glass Miller High Life 40 ounce for fucking three twenty five. It's not three hundred and twenty five. It was three dollars twenty five cents. Why? Because the product's fucking decent. It makes sense. This yeah. is a good buy. This you don't have is to overcomplicate it. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. That's the thing. Peanut butter and jelly. People still eat that a hundred years later because it's a fucking good product. It works. It makes sense. Yeah. I've never spent a thousand dollars on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and if anybody I know in my circle did, I'd block their phone number because I'd be like, "You're obviously, <laughs> because you're obviously okay. a pedophile." Yeah, it, it, so it, 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 with you. <laughs> yeah, you just it's crazy. Feast. Yeah. So I just so basically, it's, do you just feel like they should, as a company, be made to be reprimanded for such a thing for running such an ad, or do you think that they should probably just try and fucking like release a statement that says, "No, I mean they should like, definitely release something and be yeah. like, yeah, we're not fucking whatever the fuck this is.'" Yeah, we're not trying because to do that is that is yeah that's their legitimate. image is kind of tarnished for real. Like, and then it's it to, rich, to rich folks. I then guess, again, like, let's be honest. If you do the history, if you do if you do a deep dive on any of these clothing companies. A good hand of them had their hands in fucking making Nazi wardrobes, yeah. or they worked for yeah, an axis of evil fucking powers and made made their shit. Yeah. They all like none of them are good. I think I, I it's not Tom Ford. Um, Hill figure. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy Hill figure. Yeah. The pants. No, well maybe no. Tommy just Tommy Hill figure himself. Oh, oh, okay. He straight up said he's like, if I knew black people were gonna wear my clothes, I would have never made them. Wow. Shit, I forgot I, about that. By the way, I could be misquoting. It could be some different designer. But the point, the point I'm making is yeah. all of these designers have had their hands in some evil shit. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I mean, that's it, – it just – it is what it is, and it's all fucking terrible. It's kind of stupid because they just end up making movies about the shit later on in life. So it's just like 
Yeah, right. And then they make more money off of it. Yeah. yeah. And then they make more like, money no, off that of That was it. my great, great granddad, though. Yeah, that yeah. has nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah, right. And that's all it is. And that's literally like, all what? it boils down to. They're like, like, why the fuck do I want to watch House of Gucci? Like, what the fuck does that mean? I want to see what all these people did to the fucking terrible individuals. Right. They fucking, like, screwed out of their money and all that shit. I love Kevin Clamar, by the way, for what he did at the, I think it was Louis Vuitton show or whatever they did. And he played, like, uh, Play, I think it was humble or something. He played yeah. some like song that was like basically saying "fuck all fashion" uh, at a fashion show. It was great. I'm yeah. down with that. I'm totally down with that. So just to wrap this up here soon, I'm so glad to uh, I've Thank actually you. had you here. Um, let me ask you one last question. Thanks, um, where do you see yourself after you've made the amount of money from your comedy career? What do you plan on doing to retire? You know, what I'm saying like, what, what is what is your goal? For the future with this comedy stuff, do you want to transition into movies? Do you want to be like, you know, what I'm saying like movie star Kevin, or do you want to just go back to maybe being director Kevin? You maybe direct Get Out, but the right version or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh- like which do, which way do you see this going towards the end? Okay, well let me let me break this down. Okay, where do I see myself? Yes, yourself personally with your comedy career. Like, where would you like it to go, and how it to, and how would you like it to be? Uh, Ten years from now. Yeah. Inside of you. <laughs> with a Balenciaga t-shirt on. <laughs> with a teddy bear that's five feet tall and 160 pounds and full BDSM gear watching us. With gotcha. that picture in a book. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Reading that book. <laughs> Damn it. So that's what happens at furry conventions, and that's why I don't go to them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. It, if you want the serious answer, yeah. where do I see myself in 10 years? Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, 10 years goal, my 10-year goal is being able to walk into any club or most clubs mm-hmm. in the country and being able to get a spot. No matter what. I don't, yeah, I don't get a energy, fuck energy Just walk in and was like, I need, like yeah, I'm going to take a slot tonight. Yeah, but I'm not going to do like eight hours. Okay. Like I, if I walk into Comedy Works Denver, they'll be like, oh, yeah, we can throw you up, give you 10. You know, like something like that. Or, you know, if I'm out wherever, Hollywood Improv. Hey, you know. You comedy know, store? Comedy, God damn it. I would Laugh love to. Dude, that. I would just, that's, 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 literally, sure. that's literally my dream. I'm going to go right, to the comedy yeah. store one day. Right. Oh, absolutely. I got to go to sure. That's a dream. Yeah, but if they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do 20? Be like, fuck yeah. Sign me up. You know, let's go. Or, you know, headlining home clubs, like hilarities in Cleveland. I would love to if I just fucking drop it. Yeah, can I fucking? No, nah, I'd bump somebody, obviously, because that's not how that shit works. But yeah. point being is can I drop in any club in America and get time? That's my 10-year goal. Okay. That's, and that's a very good goal for real. Yeah, I, th- I think that's where it's at, man, because I do. Like I said, stand-up the stand up is the passion project. It's my love, and I for sure, that's, that's what I want to do. But if I, 10 years, solid getting booked, like that's 10-year goal. I'm getting booked at clubs. I'm paying my mortgage. I'm paying my way f- off comedy, but also I can go anywhere in the country and get time. That's, That's my 10-year goal. I feel that. I feel that. I've, uh, honestly but also still inside you with the Balenciaga. <laughs> <I'm laughs> <honest. laughs> I still, it's a thing. Yeah. That's, that, 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 <laughs> that totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. I just, I feel like I, uh, I'm on a similar way for real. Because you leave like here, your friends are going to be like, so is he gay or not? <laughs> yes. he, he? I, I feel like I'm on a similar way because it's one of those things to where that would be such an amazing ability to have. Like that would just, because it's, sure. it's a level of reverence that you would have on top of that. And just now you can actually do it at your own leisure without having to worry about it. Because it's like getting time or getting paid for your time is one of those things that comedians just kind of have to bite the bullet on for like a really long time sure. until you get to that level. But like personally, once I start, once if I get to that level per, uh, specifically, I'd still probably do the shit for free, even if it was my main source of like income. Because I personally, ten year goal would be to still do comedy, but transi- transition into all those other things that I would like to do. Yeah, like you know, what I'm saying like either be a writer for fucking like uh, Conan, or like just to be a writer for you know, what I'm saying uh, oh. SNL, something like that. And then that's gonna lead me into the production aspect of things, because I want to go out just like um, just like uh, Jordan Peele. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's one of my favorite directors now and was also one of my favorite comedians back in the day. So it's just like, I feel like his trajectory is where I would, I would like to go. And who knows? I might pull a Chappelle and move to Africa for like a, a month or two. Just, Hell yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just, just cause, and then just come back and be just like, take right, me cool. with you. <laughs> I'm down. We'll go to Wakanda. Akon should be finished building That's it by then. Fucking. <laughs> It'd be Let's awesome. Go. <laughs> you know, that forever. But all right, y'all, <laughs> that is going to be our time. So we're going to actually going to have to give everybody their plugs on the way out. So uh, I have one with tails on them over here. Give me one second. But uh, actually, I meant. <laughs> but <laughs> so give me your outro. What do you got? Where can I find I, you that on your hit social? Me, that hit me so late, but I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, no, all right. So, uh, so uh, Instagram, it's Kevin Morrison underscore comedy. 
Facebook is just Kevin Morrison. And that should be easy to find. You'll see this ugly face and be like, that's the guy I'm looking for. Um, And that's it for now. Uh, January, looking to start my own podcast, Primal Instinct. Be on the lookout for that, hopefully. Hell yeah. Um, Other than that, that's it. Come and check out Secret Society Show. I'll be working the door. And, yeah, that's it, man. That's all I got. Hell yeah. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I am Tavon Williams. You can find me uh, at Facebook and my government name. And uh, I hate the Graham 23 on Instagram. They're going to pay me to say that one day. As well as Ty underscore the icon on Snapchat. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm Tyler Watkins on Instagram. Tyler Watkins on Facebook. And uh, serve to you on Snapchat. Mm-hmm. Night shift on Instagram. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace. Beautiful.